What is up, Sopranos fans? Kino here. Uh, we're back with another Soprano log. Uh, we're almost done with season one. This is the second to last episode. Episode 12, Isabella. Um, now, this episode opens with Tony uh, very depressed. He's worried about what happened to Pussy. Pussy's disappeared. He's on a lot of lithium and Prozac, um, but nothing is working. He's just lying in bed all day, not taking care of himself. Uh, Christopher's really worried about um, you know what he might do. Tony sees a girl next door at the Cusamanos place. Her name is Isabella. She's a beautiful foreign exchange student studying uh, dentistry. Um, Tony introduces himself to her. Uh, they go out to lunch. They talk. Tony has this vision of her in an old Italian house uh, from like the 1900s. She's nursing a baby named Antonio. And it's this really weird vision he has out of nowhere. Later, he realizes that um, the whole thing has just been a hallucination. There is no Isabella. Um, she never existed. When he when he talks to Cusimano about it, Cusimano has no idea what he's talking about. And then Melfi talks to him about the fact that Isabella symbolizes um, a loving, nurturing mother um, like Tony never had. And obviously, Tony in this case is the baby. Um, is named Antonio. So we have that going on. Meanwhile, Mikey has arranged the hit on Tony. Um, it's moving forward. They've hired two black guys to take him out so that it won't lead back to Junior. There's a very funny scene um, at the funeral uh, where they're talking about this. Um, they're at this funeral for this old lady that Junior knows. You know, he talks about the fact that this woman um, gave him his first hand job um, behind the chicken mart with another with another kid. <laughs> it's just it's just incredibly funny scene uh so inappropriate um but junior is kind of freaking out about um killing tony he doesn't want to talk about it he doesn't want to think about it you know he feels like he has to kill tony because of um you know the capos meeting behind his back but he doesn't want to do it uh because i i think deep down junior really does love tony um thinks of him like a son and that's why he's having mikey uh take care of all the details um, so the two guys uh, follow Tony when he's going to therapy. Um, they're they're getting ready to take him out, um, but Christopher pulls up and blocks them in. Um, Christopher is following Tony because he's worried about um, Tony's mental health and wants to see what he's up to. So they're not able to kill Tony that day. Um, the next day, when he's at the newsstand buying orange juice, they do the hit on him. And of course, orange juice makes us think of... Uh, godfather where oranges represent death uh, Vito corleone is shot when he's buying oranges um, so this is an obvious reference to godfather but they try to kill tony um they're very bad at it to be honest it's it's kind of ridiculous they like stick the gun into his car and then tony can grab the gun and stop them from shooting him uh, but tony ends up killing one of the guys um, and the other guy escapes and then tony gets away at the hospital the FBI come and talk to him and tell him that this wasn't a carjacking like he thinks. Um, this was an assassination attempt. Um, and they offer him immunity if he testifies. Uh, Tony obviously refuses. Um, he doesn't want to betray his oath. Livia and Junior are freaking out um, by this setback. Um, they're worried that Tony will realize they're behind it and make a counter move. So they decide to go visit Tony um, at his house uh, to avoid suspicion. And while they're there, Livia pretends to forget who Meadow is. Um, she's pretending like she's got dementia, trying to seem more sympathetic, trying to seem more weak so that Tony won't suspect her as having a, a part in all this. And of course, this is the uh, first time I think we're introduced to Gabagool, you know, one of the classic Sopranos memes. Um, but this is one of the first times where they're eating it on screen. Tony, at the end of the episode, vows to find out, you know, who's behind this hit. But the assassination attempt has kind of uh, snapped him out of his depression. He wanted, he realized he wanted to live, and now he's going to do whatever it takes to um, you know, avoid being killed. Um, so that's what happened in this episode. A uh, really great episode, a lot going on here. And yeah, we're setting up the conflict for the final episode. Uh, so stay tuned next for that, coming up soon.